An interlaced image has two fields, each on alternating lines, each containing half the image, but shot one sixtieth of a second apart. That one sixtieth of a second isn't completely true, but they are never ever shot at the same time. There's a slight time difference which causes problems. Progressive are images that contain the entire image shot at one time. Film, for instance, is a classic example of a progressive image. The entire frame is shot all at once. If we read between the lines, an interlaced image shoots all the gold lines first, and then a fraction of a second later shoots all the black lines. Then it interweaves or interlaces these two half images together to form a whole image. The problem is that they're not quite at the exact same time. There's going to be a little bit of difference of a 50th or a 60th of a second between those lines. Most of the time when you're watching on a TV, you'll never notice. But if you're watching on a computer or if you start to slow things down to a still frame, you will notice the image will start to degrade. The other way of shooting is progressive, where all the lines are shot at one time. All the gold lines are shot at the same instant. The, the classic example of progressive is film. Film, the entire image, is shot instantaneously at the same time.